Okay, so it's midday, Victoria Day. It's uh, 24th of May here in Canada. Uh, day off. I actually took this whole week off so I can do a little bit of work around here. Uh, what I'm working on today is I'm working on my uh, sandblasting of the uh, frame cross members. Uh, here's what I've done so far. This is the uh, rear frame cross member. I've got the other bits and pieces here. There's the engine cross member on the right, the uh, very frontmost cross member next to it, and then there is a uh, spreader bar that I'm putting at the back behind the fuel tank that I'm putting in. I moved it out of the cab. And then there's a cross member that goes over top, uh, just ahead of the uh, rear axle. Um, well, I'll set up the camera and you can see me blast a bit here. Um, I tried doing initially the uh, this frame cross member here uh, in my sandblast cabinet. Only just fits. Uh, but I went and I hooked up the pressure pot, dragged it out today, set up this piece of cardboard to kind of contain the sand a bit. And uh, the uh, pressure pot is like 10 times faster. Um, it's ridiculous uh, how fast it is in comparison to the uh, to the sandblast cabinet so I'm going to continue using it make a mess and uh, show you what's going on
Okay, so nearly got that one done before I ran out of sand in the uh, pressure pot. So I'll refill that and uh, have another go after the compressor cools off. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm worried about my compressor. I mentioned that I was going to wait for it to cool and all that. I've actually got a fan up top as well as the uh, fan that operates when, uh, when it's running, but that keeps running all the time. I've just got it off right now. And uh, the reason why is I actually have had a head gasket failure in, uh, in this compressor. Matter of fact, it was the top middle cylinder here. Uh, blew the head gasket and uh, it stopped compressing on that cylinder. And what ended up happening was uh, the uh, compressor took a hell of a lot longer to actually pump down. And what I noticed was happening was this uh, vent got really hot, whereas the other ones were comparatively cool. And uh, obviously it was because it was just pumping the air back and forth out of it. Um, just one, you know, suggestion if you ever have that problem. Um, in any case, I've noticed myself that right now this has cooled off a bit. It's only 128 degrees Fahrenheit here. But uh, I try not to let it go above around 200 Fahrenheit, which is almost the boiling point of water, which sounds pretty damn hot for a compressor to me. But it seems to be what it runs at after you've uh, run it for a couple of minutes at a time. Um, just my personal preference. Just what I'm trying to do to keep this thing lasting a little longer. I doubt I'll, you know, I'll replace it anytime soon. But, uh, but uh, just the same, I want to keep it running as long as possible. So, there you go. This is my little lung saver. It's a uh, air supply for my uh, sandblasting helmet. It helps keep my uh, head cool and my air clean here. This is located, oh, I don't know, about 30 feet away from where I'm sandblasting. So the idea being is that, oh, it's essentially it's just a big blower. <laughs> Has two air filters on it. Um, actually, I suppose I should take them off and uh, check and see if they need a good clean there. But uh, hose runs, you know, all the way over uh, to my uh, air supply helmet and uh, I gotta say it makes things a hell of a lot more comfortable than before when I was just wearing a face shield uh, and a respirator. Uh, this is a lot cooler and easier to use. Well there we are. That's uh, all of the cross members as well as some uh, brackets. I blasted some more stuff in the uh, uh, sandblast cabinet as well but I'll uh, do that in another batch. Uh, so this stuff is all ready for painting. I think I'll uh, get to it first thing tomorrow morning and uh, hopefully things will be starting to look uh, real good.